Hello YouTube or Facebook or, or whoever might be watching this. My name is Rudy Between Worlds and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. So, in the last episode, I think it was the last episode that I acquired a key. So, using that key, I I am now in this room that was locked before and I am now terrified to be in because there's two giant ice monsters. One of them looks like he is just staring me down like, yeah, move like one foot closer to me and I will freeze y'all punk ass. But I think I have the power to destroy them, damn it. I also have the power to destroy furniture, which is also something I learned in the last episode that is very fun for me. So I guess I just have to time it. I just have to time it. No! Oh no. That's very not cool. Uh, do you at least spin round? Do you, do you not spin around? Get behind the furniture! Get behind the sofa! It's the only safe place to be. Um, he is constantly gonna try to freeze my ass, which I am not fond of. So we need to try to figure out some way to make him stop doing that shit that he's doing that's pissing me off. So, come on, you gotta run out of breath eventually. Can I hit you from here? Well, you can hit me from here. I should be able to hit you from here rightfully. That's all. Okay, good. Tinier little ice balls. Good, good. Well, I'm glad I got that done with. That's one nightmare down, one more to go. Just smash up these little little ice ballus. By the way, I have a hard time believing that the fucking behemoth master of this house just kind of had an idea one day to build a mansion and he just, boom, he built it. And I, I think this was here before was some rich dudes, but uh, he has since abandoned it since it got, like, intensely cold here. You know when you're trying to tell a story and, like, kill giant frozen ice monsters that breathe frost at you at the same time? It's pretty tough. Like, that awkward moment when you try to tell a story and kill freezing ice monsters that freeze you. Ah! Uh, this guy's pissing me off. Freezing ice monster, you are not my friend. Well, there's a door right there that I can just go out of, but guess what? I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that! Why can't my ball and chain hit you from there, but your eyes can easily hit me from where I'm throwing the ball and chain from? Another reason why the design of Twilight Princess absolutely pisses me off in comparison to other Zelda games. Boosh? No. Nothing. Of course not. Okay, that's it. You just gotta, you just gotta grow a pair and get on in there before he fucking freezes ya. Uh, uh, he's getting closer to me. Uh, oh, fuck. They got me. They got me! They have acquired their target! Everybody run! Link, stop doing the shield bash and fucking do the fucking... Do the spin attack, Link! Link, stop getting frozen! Oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> isn't this magical? As Fat Bastard would say in Third Austin Powers. Everybody didn't seem to like the Third Austin Powers. And I know nowadays, kids probably don't even know what Austin Powers is. For your information, kids these days, one of the best fucking movies I've ever known. Either way, people said, like, the third Austin Powers was not, like, amazing compared to the rest of them. Like, oh, yeah, the first was pretty good, and the second, oh, I really liked the second one, and the third one, you know, there was a third one, it's just, well, it wasn't that bad. I thought it was pretty fucking funny, to be honest with you. I will go as far as to say it is my favorite of the Austin Powers' is, gold member is. But enough about that. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, more ice. Isn't that a surprise? That comes as big surprise to me. I wonder, can you hit me from here? Can you wage war from here? I don't think so. I don't think they can even see me. I don't even think they have eyes, so I don't really need to worry about that. What'll happen if I break up this ice? Bash! Alright, well, I guess that'll be useful in case I ever just fall down on accident. I guess I need a cannonball, which, uh, according to my map, is nowhere. I, I need it. I need cannonballs so I can shoot the shit out of uh, him over there. Is that is that who I'm trying to deal with? I don't know. Can I get up? Can I get up here? I can't. I was going to say if I could, I can just kind of sneak attack him with the fucking the ball and chain. Is that actually what it's called? I thought there was like a term for it. But there's there probably is, but I'm just not about to fucking hold up the whole episode to look it up. What do I do? What do it do? Hmm. Doesn't involve having to get cannonballs from down there. Shoot them up here. I don't know. Yeah, there was some very technical way of getting a cannonball over here, and I can't remember what it was. So let's, um... How high up can I throw this thing, by the way? Like, insanely high up? That was pretty fucking high, actually. So we're gonna just give this a shot. We're gonna just give this a shot here. Let's just... 
No, we, we weren't close enough to him. That's fine. Let's just kind of stand right here. No, I think from this angle it's going to be really hard to hit him. I don't think it's possible for me to do this, but I'm sure as shit going to try. I am sure as shit going to try. Hold on. Maybe I don't even need to see him. Maybe I just kind of need to fucking throw it up. No? I understand. I need to be perfectly centered for this. You just need to be perfectly centered and then... Yes? No. <laughs> I don't think I can get him on second thought. I don't think it's a thing that I can do. Is it? Let's kind of get up a little bit higher. <gasps> oh, I was very close that time. What if I just get a little bit closer to him? Let's just kind of fucking... God damn it. Yeah, it's not happening. I'll stop wasting your time and mine. Let's... Let's see what we can do about this cannonballs here, huh? Let's see what we can... What the hell? Where was I supposed to come out of for that? I, I don't know. I didn't notice. So, I have, uh, have a cannonball here. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's pretty useful. For some reason, I can't open a door, hold a door open for myself, and bring a cannonball out. Which is a bit of a, a pet peeve of mine, to be honest with you, but then again, fuck it. Zelda logic, on the other hand. I realized in one episode, after Mario Maker, I said Zelda Logic, and I didn't mark it up as the official number that it should be in the Zelda Logic chrono chronology, as I'm gonna call it, because, well, I just, I don't fucking notice shit like that anymore, I just don't. So Zelda Logic's gonna go unnoticed in this, most likely, too. Fuck me. Fuck you, wolves! How are you just gonna fucking attack me and then run away? And then once I pick up the ball again, watch, it'll just come running at me again. No? Okay, that's fine too. That fucking that works. Whatever. I don't have a problem with that. Actually, let's set this down for a second and see. Ooh, maybe I'm getting an idea. In fact, I do believe I'm getting an idea, which doesn't usually happen because well, there's not a lot going on in here most of the time. And by in here, I mean my head and my mind. Oh, cool! Yay! I can just smash it apart by fucking swinging it around at it. Oh, uh, I was wondering that since I started swinging it around in the last episode. Good, good! Ah, oh, good, bad. <laughs> good, bad. <laughs> good, bad with the wolves. Good to kill the wolves, bad to get killed by the wolves. We'll just go with that. I don't know why I'm smashing up this ice over there. I already know what's behind there. And I know that there's a ton of fucking snow over here, so good for that. Good, 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 good. What the fuck? Uh-oh, this ain't cool. Can you just kind of get out of here, Link? Can you just kind of stop with the fucking slow-ass deep snow? Wow. Okay, this is starting to look familiar, actually. So, now that I have the ball and chain, let's smash this the fuck up. And, alright. Wait. Um, oh, I see what I did there. Okay. I kind of had a brain fart there for a second. It wasn't a brain fart, actually. It was more like fucking brain diarrhea. I went completely stupid for a moment. Uh, that's fine. Ooh, you ever have, like, one of those heartburny burps? Where, like, you can taste something that you ate two fucking days ago in that burp? It's really gross, by the way. Fucking... We're gonna call those inverted burps, even though I don't think that's even technically correct. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's, he's just standing there, you better watch out. He's gonna get ya. Oh no, what do I do here? Is there any way to get cannonballs around? What's even through this door? I don't remember nothing that happened. Is this the room that had the fucking pumpkin in it? I, um, where is it, close to it? I do not remember this one bit. Where am I? I feel like I'm supposed to find a secret in here, but the compass indicates that there is nothing. So, let's try this door now. Maybe so. Um, no. Okay, so this was the room that I got the pumpkin in. And, okay. This is all starting to get a little more familiar. I see. Uh, okay, what? What is that one hooked to on this side? If you kind of look at it like this, it's kind of just looks like it ain't hooked to nothing. You, you, do you see that? The chandelier up here? Uh, if you look on it on my fucking left right now, it's kind of just hooked to nothing. You, do you notice that? Just half of it's kind of hooked to something. The two, two of them out of four are hooked to a wall, which isn't a huge deal. 
I don't know. Um, I guess, what would the word be? Unnecessarily observant? I don't know why that took me so long to think of. Probably because I'm stupid. Let's cut up these Icemen again. You know what pisses me off about this game? The Icemen always respawn. All the enemies in the dungeon always respawn after you go into another room and come back to the room. Oh, this game pisses me off. Oh, what do I do? You know what I'm, uh, I'm noticing, actually, is that there's, uh... This wall is inconspicuously cracked in just a way that... Now, now this is just a way that it looks, but... It looks like I can kind of just drop a cannonball in here, grab a bomb, and launch one this way. We're just gonna fucking try that. Nope, there's a wall right there. Never mind, don't worry about that. That was stupid. How about next time on Rudy Between Worlds? I'm gonna actually get through this dungeon, guys, I promise you. So, um, very soon, I will be finished with Twilight Princess. Uh, this is episode 70. That's a lot, I noticed. Uh, so, that being said, I'm gonna try to finish this series in under 100 episodes, 100 episodes or less. That is my goal with this series. I have 30 left to finish this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out a fucking player's guide, I'm gonna get the walkthrough, and I'm gonna know exactly what to do at all given times, because, to be honest with you, I'm kinda sick of fucking playing this game, and I wanna play Zelda that's fun. Not That's not to say that this game completely sucks, I'm just saying it's not fun. <laughs> okay? So, next time on Rudy Between Worlds, I will see you, and I will know what to do. Have a lovely day, bye. Fuck you over there, mean mugging me. I don't give a shit. Boom! Oh, look at you. You're fast, aren't you? What are you gonna do? You, you fucking lunge at me? You gonna fucking... You gonna try to sneak attack me over here even though I know exactly where you're coming from? Fuck you, wolf. Fucking dick.